Hi children, good morning. Today, Teacher Sam is going to teach you English. Today is Tuesday. T-U-E-S-D-A-Y. Tuesday. Today is 28 September 2021. We are going to learn about question words. Question words are the words that you are too used with. When you ask question to your parents, you use this word. But you may not realize that you're using this word. Let's discover these words. Look at the question. Who is your teacher? I'm referring to a lady, a person. So I use the word who. Let's see the next slide. Who? W-H-O. Who is used to ask about people. If you want to know about someone, you must use the word who. Next slide. Example, you want to know who is in this picture. Who is he? The answer, he is my father. Okay, next slide. You want to know who is in this picture? And she's a girl or a lady. So you use the word, who is she? And what is the answer? She is my mother. Okay, next. You want to know someone unknown where you relate to a name. Like for example, who is he? As he's a boy, you use the word he, but you indicate the name, you say the name. He is Fred, okay? If you want to indicate your friend, for example, I'm pointing to Tivendra. So I say, he is Tivendra. Understand? Okay, next. Now I'm going to ask question relating to things. What are you going to buy? When you have question regarding things, you use the word what? Let's see the next slide. What? W H A T. What is used to ask about objects? Objects means things. So, for example, I don't know what is this. So, I ask, What is this? And you answer me, This is a bottle or a jar. Understand? Okay, let's see examples. Singular. Singular means one thing. For everything that you use for one object, you use the word this. So the question sounds, what is this? And what's the answer? This is a, so a means one object, tree. This is a tree. Okay, now let's see the usage of plural. Plural means many things. What are these? Okay, you see, teacher never use is really. Teacher Sham use are. So what are these? So the answer is, these are trees. Okay, these are trees. I use T-H-E-S-E, -E, these. Okay, next. Now I'm finding for something. 
So when you're fighting for something, the answer will relate to preposition. Do you remember? In, on, up, down, all these kind of words. So when you ask question, like for example, where, your answer should relate to preposition. So where is your house? My house is beside somewhere. Okay? Okay, let's see the usage. Where, W, H, E, R, E, where, is used to ask about places. So you want to know where some object is, where is the place is, you use the word where. Where is my shoe? Where is my mother? Okay, where? Okay, next, let's see examples. Where does the fish swim? Now look at the picture. The fish is in the bowl. So what's the answer? In the fish bowl. So you see, Tita Sham used the word in, I and in. In is a preposition. Preposition to show location. Where is the place? Okay, next. Where are the birds? So where are the birds? So look at the birds. They are in the nest. They are in the nest or on the tree. Okay, you can say either one of the answer. Okay, in the nest. You also can say on the tree. Okay, so in and on are preposition words. Okay, next. Where is the eraser? Can you see the white color object is on the book, right? Okay, see the answer? On the book. So on is a preposition and I locate it on the book. Understand? Okay, next. Okay, so we have come to the end of the topic. So it's activity for the day. Our activity for the day is from the book K to English. Okay, open to page 79 and 80. Complete your work and snap and send it to teacher shop. Okay, children. Bye-bye.